The media did, mainstream media did immediately when that was announced, was they made it seem like something was going down in Detroit. Detroit doctor performs genital mutilations and they kind of skirted over the fact that these inhumane operations were taking place, mutilations were taking place in Livonia, not Detroit. And Henry Ford Hospital made it a, a point to their credit to point out that even though she was employed at Henry Ford, she did not perform supposedly any operations there. And then they immediately placed her on administrative leave. But the way the media tried to color this was like it was a Detroit doctor performing these genital uh, mutilations, I thought was just uh, horrible. And of course the operations themselves. Anything horrible. that is bad automatically gets assigned to Detroit. Yeah. Now, in the media. Now that act deserves 28 years. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, not, you're absolutely right. Say that More again, life. Say that, that again. That act deserves 28 years. Life. Really life. Life. Yeah. I you mean, destroyed these young girls. Yeah. Life. Well, when my, our friend Jim Kirchner over WXYZ described the response of one of the uh, young ladies and the pain, the pain she endured, I mean, you could almost feel it. She said she felt it all the way down her legs. She what just felt sheer God's pain. Man. I mean, you know, the, the cultural practices notwithstanding, you know what? I am this is so, the United States of America. I am sick of these, this, this, this male-dominated mindset to control females. Uh, and you're right, in, in parts of Africa and other parts of the world, this is done. Uh, she should go to prison and never get out. But you said something.